I'm carrying somebody else's baby. I do enjoy the pregnancy. I always knew that I wanted to have kids. Never been married, and I'm currently single. I ultimately decided on surrogacy after looking into adoptions. I believe that it's redefined the family. They're my kids. I'm not gonna be in embarrassed about it or shy about it or, you know, I had them and they're mine. All right, big announcement, everybody. Yes, my wife is having a baby. No, it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I don't know, having the urge to be pregnant again. Yes! What? Is, is, is this Grey Coke yours? Yes, Sally. Grey! So I had said, do you want another baby or should I have a baby for someone else? And he said, someone else. <laughs> We ended up going through an agency. We meet with them. You know, we, we start with just a, a basic questionnaire to get a feel for who they are and, and why they're coming to this process. I'm a gestational surrogate. It's an egg donor and sperm of the father. The surrogate is carrying biology that's not hers. It's a total disconnect. The one ultrasound tech actually like scrolled over and saw my bladder and said, oh, mom has to pee. And I'm like, don't call me that. That's <laughs> These are the embryos before they were transferred. I always wanted to have kids by the time I was 35. If I'd known that it was gonna take so long, I probably would have started the process sooner. I had done research on my own with different surrogacy agencies. What I liked about Circle was that they were more gay friendly. Some agencies were not open to gay parents and I, you know, I don't have time for that. I definitely think there are people who think that surrogacy is an easy money type of thing. And we were in a very different financial place. We weren't doing well. And so like it felt dirty to me. I think the line that I said was, um, I'm not pimping your womb out. <laughs> I mean, I've heard stories about them being compared to say prostitution, where there's this idea of wombs for rent and kind of taking away the fact that they're making the decision to enter this process just as anybody else. You can't do this for the money. You know, it's, it's too hard. There's too much emotional stuff that goes into it. I signed up for it all, but I never really thought about it. And then when she said it was, you know, a single dad, I was like, it wasn't because he was gay. It was because I was like, what single guy wants to have kids? <laughs> like, and I just want to ask, you know, why is it that you want to be a parent? Because it was very important to me to hear how he answered that. And like, not just, oh, well, you know, it was time. He said these, this one phrase was, you know, I was living a selfish existence. And once he said that, I was like, yeah, I'm in. You know, this is exactly what I want to be doing. Everybody tells you your world is going to change. And uh, it, it does. And I, I would think about it and say, yeah, I know my world is going to change. I know that everything is going to be completely different. But you don't know how it's going to feel until it happens. So many emotions that, uh, I mean, I cried obviously, um, and I'm not really a crier, but like, man, this whole process, I've cried more than I think I've ever cried in my entire life. I mean, my dad, he originally said that, oh, that's a really unique way to like give back kind of thing, because it's something that comes easily to me, and I know so many people struggle with infertility. For people that can do this, and do do it, and do it for the right reasons, like, it's, it's a beautiful thing, it's an amazing thing. 
this new idea of what it is to be a family, I think a lot of people will say that allowing singles to have children or gay people to have children is going to cause a collapse in the family structure. The traditional family structure has been collapsing for 40 years. You know, people aren't getting married. People are getting divorced. There's a lot of kids out there that don't have two parents, so it's no different for me in my eyes, except for the fact that in order for me to get to this point, I had to jump through a lot of hoops. You had twins. Yes. Can you believe they were both in my belly at the same time? Yeah. We've developed a great relationship. I mean, he said he never thought like going into the process that he'd be gaining a, an additional like family. You know, with Michael, like he is a part of our family and you know, he will be, you know, my brother for forever. Jenna and Phil had been wonderful, but then to be so emotionally invested in somebody else's desire to have a family, I wouldn't change it for anything. I love my kids. Everything that I thought I would feel is it's 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 amplified a million times. Well, I wish for my baby a pretty and simple life. I wish for my baby a belly that's full. We will sponsor a veterinarian who would like to do more in his community because he knows that there is homeless out there that can't afford vaccinations. He just need a rabies shot, so I figure I'd come here and let him get it. 